It is a rare form of cancer, and at one time, get this, to save the patient's life, that patient would have to lose an eye. In today's Health Watch, Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us how some specialized cancer centers are using this decades-old therapy to treat ocular melanoma. When you hear melanoma, you probably think skin cancer, but our eyes also have these melanin-producing cells and can develop melanoma. Now, some of the top centers in the U.S. are using the power of protons to kill the cancer and save the eye. It might not be visible to the untrained eye, but your ophthalmologist might uncover a spot or freckle that could be a sign of ocular melanoma, cancer of the eye. So ocular melanoma historically was treated by enucleation, meaning the removal of the eyes. But for some patients, that may no longer be the case. Dr. Helen Chi is a radiation oncologist with expertise in proton therapy. Traditional radiation delivers x-rays to the tumor, but the radiation can go beyond the tumor and damage healthy tissue. Proton therapy delivered radiation through a large machine like this one delivers a beam of protons that stops at the tumor. We typically go through the white of the eye, which is fairly resistant to the radiation. It treats the tumor and the beam stops there. So there's no radiation or virtually no radiation delivered to the brain. Dr. Shi says it's important to catch ocular cancer early before it spreads. When treated early, proton therapy can cure almost 95% of the ocular cancers. I would say the overwhelming majority of people that we treat um, granted, they are selected carefully. Um, they do not only save their eye, but frequently we save their vision. Treatment that could be life and sight saving. While proton therapy has been used for years for the treatment of other cancers like brain, breast, and lung cancers, Dr. Shi says there are only a handful of hospitals and academic institutions across the U.S. using proton therapy for ocular melanoma. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Feldman, Local 5 News.